I got a little bit irritated by it. I understand it now. And when we finally got to this Mafia States of America Q&A that Patrick Bed David held, well, it got contentious between the two of us. Some things were said that I regret that were said on both of our parts. Hey everyone, welcome to another sit down with Michael Francis. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope you got past Thanksgiving. Everybody celebrated, had a great time, a day of thanks and turkey and good food and family and friends. Hope you got through it well and everybody enjoyed it. And uh, we're into the holiday season, so get ready. Christmas, New Year's, I think everybody's looking forward to 2022, even though 21 was uh, somewhat of a recovery, but a rough year in many other ways. But 2022, let's see what God has in store for all of us. I'm looking forward to it, that's for sure. What am I going to do today? You know what? I have to address what has become the elephant in the room over the past several days. Many of you know what I'm talking about, that kind of confrontational, you know, sit down I had with uh, Sammy Gavano, Sammy the Bull, Mafia States of America. It was on Patrick Bed David, Valuetainment's platform. We got together last week and it got a little bit contentious. We spoke about it a little bit afterwards. I did. I did a Q&A on my platform, tried to explain some of the things that were going on. But I think I owe it to my subscribers, my followers, people that tune in to give you a little better explanation as to what really happened. Let's get into today's discussion. Last week, Mafia States of America, Sammy and I got together. It really was to promote the project that is coming out on December 3rd. I'm going to get to that. But let's talk about what happened. It got very contentious. And before I get into it, I want to apologize. I think many of you know me now. Rarely do I lose my cool. It's just not who I am. Uh, but I did somewhat in, the, in this kind of confrontation that Sammy and I had. And I apologize for that. I don't think it's the right way to conduct yourself online. Uh, you know I don't curse. I don't use profanity. I think I did a little bit maybe once. <laughs> I didn't look at the whole thing again, but people have been calling me on it and saying, Michael, I'm surprised you never, I know that. And again, I apologize. There's really no excuse for it. Shouldn't have done it, but hey, it is what it is. We're all human and sometimes our emotions get the best of us, especially during this time. For those of you that know me, we've had a little struggle in the family in the past couple of weeks. So I've been, you know, a little bit, uh, you know, high intensity, I would say. Let me tell you what happened, though, that brought this about. I think about a week ago, I did something. I did a YouTube presentation on the Witness Protection Program. And in it, I uh, talked about how sometimes mob guys on the street, informants, manipulate the program for their own benefit. And I went into detail about it. I'm not going to do it again. You can watch it. It's online now. It's posted. And during that segment, I mentioned Sammy's name. I said Sammy Gravano was part of the WITSEC program. I probably mentioned him for about 10 seconds. I didn't say anything else negative about him at all, okay, because that wasn't my intent. I wasn't looking to hurt him in any way, shape, or form. Sammy got very offended by the fact that I even mentioned him in connection with the WITSEC program when I was talking about people that manipulated the program. Again, I didn't include Sammy in that. I just mentioned him. But I talked about others and I talked about the program in general and how mob guys and informants manipulate the program to benefit themselves. They manipulate the government. And I believe that until this day and I gave examples of that. But I did not include Sammy in that discussion. I just did mention that he was in the witness protection program. It's a matter of record. Sammy got very offended by that. He sent me a text and he was just very, very upset with me. I texted him back. I said, Sammy, there was no ill intent. I didn't mean to do that. I'll take it down. I had my team go back and look at it. It was less than 10 seconds. We took it down and I did apologize to him. On top of that, on a Sunday after this video was posted, I was in church and the pastor in church said, you know, to me and my family, to everybody, the whole congregation, listen, you know, if you know somebody that's not saved, according to the Christian faith, pray for them right now. 
And we prayed for Sammy Gravano. My whole family said, let's pray for Sammy. My wife suggested it. So we prayed for Sammy. Well, I texted him and said, Sammy, we prayed for you. I told him what the pastor asked us to do. And I said, we sent you a prayer. And somehow Sammy thought that I sent him that uh, to kind of soften it up that I would mention him in the wit seg segment. Didn't even have that in my mind. But now let me say this. In Sammy's defense, when I reflected on it, I said, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have included him in that post. I shouldn't have because by, you know, by inference, I would say, it might have looked like I was including Sammy in in manipulating the government in some way. So I understand now how he got upset. And that's why I apologized and I took it down. But, you know, Sammy is Sammy and he's emotional and he's intense. And, you know, he accused me of, you know, softening him up. And the thing that bothered me the most was that him and his wife and kids are in church and they're praying for me. He had a catastrophe happen a week or two before with a young boy. It's not his fault. He could pray for him. Why do you want to pray for me? I'm not sick. I'm not dead. I'm not in jail. Why would you want to pray for me? So I took that little prayer you sent me as he's trying to soften me up from this video. He knew I would explode at that video because we're supposed to at this point be getting along. It wasn't really well intended when I sent him the text about my faith. OK, I understand that now. I got a little bit irritated by it. I understand it now. And when we finally got to this Mafia States of America Q&A that Patrick Bed David held, well, it got contentious between the two of us. Some things were said that I regret that were said on both of our parts. Again, you know, I think we straightened it out. Sammy and I have spoken afterwards. And I will tell you this. Sammy and I were not friends on the street. We didn't know each other well. Obviously, I knew of him and he knew of me, I'm sure, because I'm a Francis, everybody knew that name. So we knew of each other. We were not friends on the street. We're different. We have different personalities. There's differences in us. I'm not going to get into what was discussed other than the fact that it did get contentious. You can go back to listen to it. I'm just kind of explaining it now. I will tell you this. Sammy and I have communicated afterwards. We both agreed that what happened that day was no good. We don't want to have that kind of relationship at all. I like Sammy's family. I like his son. I've met some of his family. I like them very much. And I feel that he feels the same about mine. I know he does, and I know it's genuine. So we didn't mean to do any of that. And, you know, I got to tell you, there's a lot of stuff going on on social media. A lot of people are saying a lot of different things. A lot of guys are making comments about the mob life, and a lot of guys are knocking one another and talking about one another. I'm not into that. I don't even think Sammy is into that. I don't listen to his stuff. He probably doesn't listen to mine. But I don't think either of us are into that. And I don't appreciate it. I don't like it. But you know what? Everybody has you know, their own opinion. They want to get on YouTube and they want to make some money. Everybody has a right to make a living. I'm not knocking them. They could do what they want. It's just not what I intend to do. I don't think Sammy's doing it much either. I don't know. Again, I don't listen to his stuff. But, you know, I'm not here to knock Sammy Gravano. Have I in the past? Yeah, I've said some things that were offensive to him. He said some things that were offensive to me. We did that at certain times when we were asked about one another. I think that's going to stop. Okay. But I will tell you this, let me get to the Mafia States of America sit down and let me get to Patrick but David because I know a lot of you are making comments that, you know, Patrick decided to put a price on this. Now, again, I want to make something clear. Sammy and I did not get paid. We didn't get paid one penny. We have some expenses that were taken care of, but that's normal. OK, but we did not get paid for this sit down that we had. Why did we do it? Because we're both on YouTube, we both have followers, so many people have asked us to get together. They said, Michael, you and Sammy are the real deal. And they told Sammy the same thing. You know, you have right now the biggest presence on YouTube, the both of us do. We'd love to see you get together. It's never been done before. We never saw two guys from that life really get together and talk things out. So Sammy and I discussed it. Patrick Bed David brought us together and we decided to do it. So we really did it for our brand, for our platforms to get together. We didn't do it for the money. 
But I will tell you this, Patrick took this to another level. He did a tremendous production. We brought Rudy Giuliani to give his opinion and his perspective, not only on the mob, on what happened during his day, you never really heard this from him, but on Sammy and I, and he gave a perspective on it. Chaz Palminteri, who understands the life, who wrote a brilliant movie in the Bronx Tale, who grew up in that era, that neighborhood, he understands it. He is part of this. Patrick spent a lot of money on this. The production value was very, very high. So if he now chose to put a price on it, well, that's up to him. He's a business guy. He's an entrepreneur, well-respected guy. I know a lot of people are complaining about it because I think they thought initially that it was going to go up on YouTube for free. I don't remember the circumstances of that. And listen, you have a choice. You buy it, you don't buy it. But I will tell you this, it's like 10 episodes. It's about 10 hours of this high production value and things that were discussed between Sammy and I, I'm not going to get into it now. I don't think you've ever heard this stuff before. I have a, a channel, obviously, so does Sammy, but we didn't talk together on either one of these channels. We spoke a lot. You're going to hear a lot about that life and about our perspectives in that life. And there were times when it got contentious because he and I have a different perspective on the life. I have a different perspective now than Sammy does. And I think I had a different perspective when we were both in the life. And yeah, Sammy is considered a hardcore gangster. I'm considered more to be a racketeer. We understand that. And as a result, we brought two different perspectives into the life. Sammy came up the hard way. This is probably what he wanted to be his entire life. Me? No. I got in there because my father thought it was a way to help him out. Now, obviously, I grew up in a life. I'm my father's son. I was around it since the time I can remember, three, four, five years old. And as far as I'm concerned, I grew up under one of the best. My father was a very well-respected guy in that life. Okay, so he taught me well. So we have different perspectives of the life. And I think it's all, it all came out during this 10-hour sit-down. So it's up to you. I'm not here being a salesperson. You can buy it. You don't want to buy it. Whatever you want to do. Patrick Bed David has his way of doing things, and he's going to put it out there the way he wants. It's his project. It's not mine, and it's not Sammy's. So it's his project. I will tell you this. The people that have seen it so far have told me, Michael, it is amazing. I mean, they're looking, you know, Netflix and one of the other major platforms. I don't know what Patrick's going to do about it. That's up to him. But again, don't get mad at Patrick. He's a business guy. You know, you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. I mean, that's up to you. But he put a major investment in this. He's got a major amount of time. He put a big cry. I think he had 10 or 12 people working on it at any given time. So that's it. That's all I'm going to say. If you're interested in this genre, if you're interested in Sammy and Michael, if you're interested in really hearing about the life with two guys that know it intimately well, that talked about it in great detail, it's up to you. So I think that, uh, you know, I've said enough today. This is possibly what you expected of today, but I think it's important that I got it out there. I wanted to address the elephant in the room and the elephant in the room, I think for quite a while now, is going to be me and Sammy Gravano, you know, me and him. And uh, hey, if that's what it is, that's what it is. But um, hopefully I clarified some things today. That was my intent. So Subscribe, michaelfrancis.com, Inner Circle, get involved in it. I think you're going to love it. I know you're going to love it. I got so many testimonials. People are tuning in all the time. We got new people coming on day after day after day. We're going to continue providing good content. That's what we do. I got a whole bunch of things coming up that we're going to get into that I think you're going to enjoy. We're doing a lot of work in the month of December. 2022 on YouTube and everywhere else is going to be a big year, hopefully, on my platform. So... That's it for today. My friends, how do I always leave you? I leave you the same way. Be safe. Be healthy. God bless. And I really mean that. I mean God bless all of you. And you know what? I hope and pray. I'll see you next time.